Welcome back to the Clown Show. We're here for Series 1 Race 4 at Silverstone for the Wild West Zones. So this is exciting. Um, I've actually not officially raced at this track uh, in iRacing races or in League other than the Prelude on Wednesday. Um, so this is a relatively new track to me. So I've had to kind of come up quickly and uh, figure it out and uh, get some rhythm in it and uh, try to get faster. Um, it is a challenge. For, I mean, it's it's a tough track. It's got a lot of sweeping, flowing pieces, but it's also extremely technical. There's a lot of room, a lot of good runoff, but uh, some very punishing uh, off tracks uh, and uh, um, essentially uh, slowdown penalties um, in, in various places if you go off too far. So that's no fun. Um, so that means that a conservative race is going to serve people best because there's a lot of opportunity, especially in the, the roof, to get a little too aggressive on the accelerator or on the brake and uh, wind up spinning yourself out or uh, causing yourself problems with the uh, slowdown. So um, i going to try to avoid those sorts of pitfalls. Learned a lot on Wednesday um, and think I have uh, a good strategy ahead of me. Um, speed is not part of that strategy. Um, I have not been able to find the same speed that uh, Chris and Randall and Ed and uh, new guy Scott Ferris uh, is racing with us this week for the first time, um, at least uh, as far as I know, um, with the WWZ anyway. And uh, he's quite fast. Um, so those four guys, at least in practice, have been faster than uh, the rest of the sport field. Um, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm in there. I'm in the top five. And I'm... I'm under a second um, behind um, Scott, who is uh, running uh, fourth to Chris, Ed, and Randall, um, topping the time charts. Of course, none of that means anything. It's practice, so everybody has to qualify, and qualification is going to be starting out. the session, P5. So uh, let's, uh, let's qualify. Let's see what we can do. Find my gloves here. So wish me luck. Got a nice warm-up lap to get the tires with a little bit of heat in them, and then uh, then we go for s our first lap. Just try to get a bankers in, and then uh, let's see where Your we go. Your clear. Push. Okay, Jet. We've got three laps to set a decent time. Three, four. Five. Four. Three. Two. Three, four, five, six, five, four, three. Two. Three. Four. Five, 
six, five, four, three, two, three, four. Was not an off track. Five. That's pretty remarkable. Six. Five. Asteroids out here. Four. Five. Six. Five. Four. Five. Four. Three. Two. Three, four, five, two, five, six, five, four, three, two. Sixth place, and you're now 0.9 off the pace. Four, three, two.
three, four, five, six, five, four. Three, two, three, four, five. The LP8, good luck. That's your quickest so far. Four, three, two. Well, that was disappointing on a lot of different levels. Chris, Ed, Randall, Jeff threw up a time. Scott, Alex, a challenge cast competitor. That's depressing. Not that there's anything wrong with Jeff striving or anything, but it's, that's unfortunate. All right, well, no use crying over spilt milk. Just got some work to do. Put on the overalls and uh, get her done. An eighth. That's the end of the session, P8. Man. <laughs> Not what I was looking for. Let's go ahead and grid up. Hey, Ed, were you holding back in practice or something? No, I just went and hijacked the setup. You and your setups. Minutes. The air temp is 68 Fahrenheit. It's kind of funny that I'm behind Alex. Follow car number 68 hey, in the left column. Pretty badly. One. Two. Catch up to car number 68. Three. All right, Chip, get ready. Two. I'm on, on here, so I don't know what's going on. Floor it, green, green, green. Yellow flag. 
three, four, five, six, five. Three. Four. Five. Six. Five. Four. Five. Four. Three. Two. Three. Four. Five. Delta to leader two nineteen point three six two. Five. Four. Three. Two. Delta to leader eleven point one six one. Five. Four. Three. Two. Six. 
five, four, five, four, three, two. Jason, why don't you go around me here on the right? Two. You're a faster car. Thanks, Four. Five. Thank you. Okay, Jim, this bastard's holding you up. You've got to find a way past. Don't I know it, Jim? Don't Four. I know it? Five. But you saw what happened last time I tried to get around him. Six. Damn it all. Five. Four. Takes such weird lines. They're weird because they're not mine. Five. But... Four. Go ahead, Chris. Thanks. Three. Four. Five. Delta to leader ten point zero four. two seven. Five. 
three, two. Three. The gap in front is no, increased, it's more. now about 2.1 seconds. Five. Thank you, sir. Five. Four. It's about you, mate. Five, four, three, two. The gap's now 1.7 seconds. The gap in front is now 3.2 seconds. Five. Six. 
spy. Delta to leader 9.222. Behind's catching the gaps now, 0.4. Lock it down. Six, five, four, five, four, three, two. Great move. Keep it up. Three. Heads up. There's a car exit four, in the pits. Chip, don't be intimidated by this little shit. Make him work for it. GTE putting in, putting in. Up. Blue flag. Two thousand one hundred and ninety. 
1990. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 34 miles per hour. 961. 900. 800. 700. 600. Delta to liter 11.431. 400. 300 feet. 200. 100. 100 feet. Zero. Pit exit is clear. Push now. Two, three, four, five, four, three, two. Three. Four. Five. Five, four, three, the lead is now. Two. Three. Four. Behind is now 5.3. Four. Three. Four. Five. Six. Five, four, three, two. Three. All right, Chip, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Five. Delta nice and smooth. Four, Don't overdrive the car. Five. 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 Three, four, you again, Chris. Five, six, five, four, three. It's a faster class car approaching. Three. Four. Five. Six. Blue flag. Five. Okay, Jet. There's a faster class car approaching. Five. Four. Three. Blue flag. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
Delta 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 Thanks. Three. Four. Behind Jeff again. Five, God damn it. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Go ahead and go by there on the right, Jason. Four. Five. Six. Five. Chip, good stuff. Keep it coming. Three. Four. Five. Six. Five. Four. The guy behind's really new in. The gap's now 0.4. Thank you. Three. You're two tenths off the pace in sector two. Four. Five. Six. Five. Thank you. Four. Great patience, Two. everyone. Thanks. Three. Four. Five. Delta to leader 9.076. Five. Five, four, 
three. Thanks, Ethan. No problem, Joe. Sector one is 0.7 mm. off the pace. There's a faster car approaching. Three. Four. Five. No problem. Three. Thank you. Four. Five. Delta to leader nine point eight two four. Four. Five. Thank you. Four. Three. Sure. Two. Over Jason. Five. Take it. Four. Five. Four. Three. Two. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. Okay, Chip. There's a faster car approaching. Three. Delta to leader 11.471. Sorry, bud. Go with Dave. Six. Five. Four. Three. We're cracking under the pressure, sorry. Two. No problem. Come on, don't make it easy for him. Make him go the long way around. Five. Five. 
You might be on the left of the stage. Six. Five. Four. Don't wait too long. Find that gap. Five. Four. Three. Two. Go ahead, Robin. Thanks, Chris. Seriously? One. Sorry, Cap. Blue flag. It's the wrong way there, Chip. Two. Jammer's fault. Three. What are you doing back there, Ed? Delta 7 here, 20.984. Four. Three. Two. Thanks, Armando. Six. Five. Three. Two. But Williams is closing you down. The gap has come down Four. to 0 0.2. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Five. Six. Delta to leader 10.456. Five. Five. Four. Three. Two. Don't forget. Thanks, Leanne. Three. Four. Five. White flag, last lap. Very little fuel left. Hit next lap.
Two minutes left. Two minutes. Good race, Ed. Couldn't catch you there at the end. You kept this pulling away from me. Three. Four. Tried the undercut on you. It was like three seconds behind the point pit stop. The ultimate seventh out, position. Right? Point. There, there we go. Five seconds. Bring it back round. Good race, everyone. Sorry, Kip. Nice racing here, buddy. Three. Ed, what happened there at the end, man? So that's a wrap. Um, interesting race. Silverstone is a tough track, and uh, my intent coming into the race was to kind of play it mellow, play it cool, just drive my race. And uh, that's harder to do than you often think. I, I think that you get caught up in the moment and you start actually driving to keep up or get past or catch back up, um, recover. And uh, it, it it turns into a little bit different than what maybe you envisioned when you started. And that's it's interesting. There's a whole mental part of this that is really interesting and fun. Um, it's as much a learning curve as uh, driving the car, controlling the car is. Um, so I started in eighth position in class. Um, I believe... Uh, what was that? Uh, 16th overall? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. 16th overall, um, 8th in class. Um, I finished 7th in class, so um, 15th overall. So I, I made one, one spot up uh, in the course of the race. Didn't feel like that at the end. Um, I had a couple of incidents. Actually, I had three primary incidents, and if we actually look over here at my time track, um, I had uh, a lap four incident um, with Jeff Rosenthal. Um, that was a combination of things. Um, he slowed up kind of unexpectedly for me, and I was carrying a little bit too much speed. Thought he had given me space, and then he came in on, on his turn, not knowing that I was so close to him. Um, and I wound up spinning him. Um, unfortunate. Um, and uh, in my fault, I own that. Um, uh, as a, that, that was the first incident in the race in lap four. Um, what's interesting, really interesting to me is that, um, the other two incidents, the one that happened at, uh, lap 13 with Chris, um, Chris, uh, basically had gone off track, uh, had all four wheels off track and then re-entered and came in under me and I, I couldn't see him. Um, there was no way that angle that he came in at, he did, was not in my mirrors. Um, my spotter didn't call him out, and uh, I uh, had no way of knowing where he was because I'm on a single screen, so I have no peripheral at all, so I didn't see him. Um, and when I did my turn in, um, there he was. Um, and that, that 
basically cost me. He continued on, um, and ultimately wound up finishing third, which is quite impressive considering he had quite a, a bad race that he had to recover from not once but twice to work his way back up to the top of the field. Um, but uh, that was an unfortunate incident and, and cost me um, a little bit of time, um, of course. The last incident um was on lap 17 in both the lap 13 and 13, 17 uh lap incidents um show loss of control but don't show car contact although there was definitely car contact um 13 it was really obvious there was physical contact you could actually see the cars strike one another uh 17 it was actually a net code but i felt it in the wheel um as i went around so i didn't just lose the rear end it was actually um, uh, I felt a car bump me. And of course, uh, if you've seen my video on netcode and what that is, is there's a whole predictive algorithm that is constantly doing the math based on where one racer's client is in terms of their car positioning and where other cars are on track. And some of that requires that the system makes the best guess based on the last known position of a car because it it's hard to kind of manage that network connectivity to be 100% certain at all moments in time of where the cars are, especially if they're moving at high rates of speed. Um, it's, it's one of those minor miracles that is iRacing when you really stop and think about, you know, how infrequently that occurs and how close racing often is. It's, it's kind of cool. But when it catches you out, when you actually have that algorithm predict wrongly, um, in both my replay and in um, the replay um, that uh, James Bernard uh, looked at, um, the cars didn't make contact. There was actually a good foot between the two cars, yet I spun around. Um, so uh, that didn't show up as car contact here either. Uh, it just showed his loss of control. Um, really interesting. And again, that that's if net code is nobody's fault. Um, so while I was really, really angry in race, um, ready to to to, to want to throttle poor Jammer, <laughs> um, especially considering that he was still ahead of me and I almost caught him at the end. I was I was a little bit fuming there at the end of the race, um, but it wasn't his fault. It wasn't my fault. It was just that was just you know a net code incident and and no big deal. Oh no, a good race. I made up one place. Um, I um, uh, finished ahead of uh, the person that I entered the race tied at four points in the series. Um, Alex uh, Hellier and I were tied uh, based on our outcomes and our drops up until tonight. Um, we were we were tied uh, neck and neck um, at, at fourth position in the series for sport class. This uh, will mean that I probably have fourth to myself uh, unless someone that finished ahead of me um, wound up benefiting from uh, from my poor poor race and um, uh, it gets a leg up on, on me that way but um, it, it should kind of separate us out at least to where we're not shared anyway um, great race uh, um, congratulations to Derwin for the overall win really congratulations uh, Brian Granger um, has just continuously improved. I, I saw him, I raced with him a little bit in the summer series, um, summer fun interim series, and then of course saw him in uh, series five um, and just saw him just get better and better in series five. And then he moved up into club class and continues to do um, really good things. He's really fast. Um, and in fact, uh, he finished third overall ahead of a lot of other pro Finisher. So the third place pro finisher finished behind him, which is, is pretty cool. So he, he won club. Um, and then um, Ed um, won sport race tonight with Randall and Chris, a close second. Again, Chris had a tremendous recovery drive, not once, but twice um, to, to actually get back up and into the front running and, and do as well as he did. So that's really an impressive finish for him. Um, and uh, congratulations to Jeff Rosenthal, um, winning uh, um, in the uh, challenge class. Pretty awesome um, in terms of, of the finish there. So that is the race. Um, and uh, I am looking forward to Emola. Emola is uh, next Friday. And uh, that's a track that I have raced at before, although um, I can't say I raced particularly well there. But I do love that track. Um, it's a lot of fun to drive. Um, it's a challenging track, 
um, and it's it's a lot of fun to drive in the roof. So I'm I'm actually I'm looking forward to it. Um, I like to think I have a little bit of an advantage because I actually have done a lot of laps there um, in prep of the race for the races that I've driven in the iRacing series uh, in the roof. So um, who knows? Um, but it should be a all timer um, in terms of races. So I hope that uh, you'll join us and watch. That'll uh, I think practice begins at seven thirty. Um, and, um, we will actually start qualifying at 840, um, no, yeah, at 840, and then the race will start at 850. Um, at least that's the plan today. I, I, I don't know if things will change logistically, but that's typically the pattern if it's a 40-minute race. Um, and I will probably stream that one. So, um, look for, um, my, um, Twitch or YouTube stream on Friday night. And uh, if I'm streaming, um, that'll be available to you live. And you can chat with me during the race, which is always fun um, when I get people that are interested in watching the race and want to chat with me as I race. Um, uh, it shows up on screen, so everybody sees the chat. And uh, as I get into a straight or a place where I can read the text, <laughs> I'll read it and I'll respond. So um, please, please do, do consider joining me um, if you have time and are interested in this sort of thing. Um, it's always fun to, to have people participating in whatever way they can. Thank you very much for uh, watching this and uh, stay safe out there. Thank you. Bye. -bye. <laughs> it would be absolutely unfair to just squeak off without thanking the people that make my racing possible. I want to first thank Nicole and McKenzie for supporting me. Home is where the heart is, and uh, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have their support. They let me come in here, close my door, and uh, do my own thing uh, without disturbance, which is always nice, and dinner's always ready for me at the end of a race. Can't beat that. Also want to thank the folks at SpyCloud. Always uh, very supportive. In fact, uh, they, uh, they some of them watched uh, the stream tonight, which was kind of exciting. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate your support. PCA Sim Racing and the Steering Committee, all the race participants, everyone involved, top-notch organization and a lot of fun. Really, really can't say how much fun a good league is in iRacing. If you've ever participated in iRacing before, you know that uh, sometimes a racing isn't always great. Uh, you get some uh, bad behavior on track and all sorts of other sort of shenanigans and you know, we have our problems. It's like a, a family, right? We we have a little, uh, um, uh, little bit of elbowing, a little bit of shoving now and again, but all in all, great group of guys, and we're committed to working it out and racing clean, racing like gentlemen. So uh, a great organization. So PCA Sim Racing, if you're a PCA member and you aren't sim racing, you want to look into it. Definitely do that because it's really, it's a lot of fun. It's not quite the real thing, but it's uh, it's a pretty good uh, good simulation. And then, of course, uh, the Redwood region of the Porsche Club of America and Zone 7. Thank you very much for letting me fly your colors. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Bye-bye.